how to use the printing press. The first thing we will do is adjust the gauge of the rolling pin. We're going to have to do this on both sides. And what this does is raises it so we can have room to slip our matrix underneath. This is what the gauge looks like. I'm looking at the numbers here. A lower number will make it go lower, but a higher number will raise it up. And that is what we want right now. Now that our rolling pin is raised, we can slip out this gray piece and also one piece of cardboard. Once you have your matrix all inked and ready to go, you will want to carry it over back to the printing press. We are going to lightly squirt our matrix with the water bottle. Make sure your water bottle is squirting and give it one squirt on top of your image. Place your image down on the first piece of cardboard and then stand behind the printing press and align your piece of paper on top of it. You will then sandwich your matrix and your paper between the two boards and lay the mat on top. I like to put the rough side of the board up. Press down on the board with your hand and then slip the black mat underneath the rolling pin. We will then adjust the gauge and lower it back down until it fits tight against the board. Do this to both sides. In this particular case, I'm adjusting both sides to 32. You are now ready to start driving the boat. If you cannot get the press to roll, make sure that the pin is tight against the board, but also make sure that the board and the gray mat are underneath the rolling pin. We're going to give our first print a peek and then quickly set it to the side and start the process over for the next print. We can repeat this process until our matrix runs out of ink.
Once our prints have dried, we are going to assign them in the right hand corner, give them a title in the middle, and label what version they are on the bottom left hand corner. For example, this was the first print we made, so this will be one out of four.